It's September 2020, and almost a year since we first met our six final year students from the class of 2020. They've now officially finished university, and producer Jeremy is back online to see how they've fared over the last six months. Bristol history graduate Robert Porter has just started his job at Vodafone and is working from home. It's weird starting online and not having met any of my kind of colleagues um but i yeah i'm really really enjoying it so far um i was really impressed with i think particularly the kind of onboarding experience i think they were very very conscious that that it's a weird um time to start i mean i've just had i've literally just had a call with my manager before this one and he I mean, if he said it once, he said it 10 times, sort of, you know, if if you've got too much work, let me know. If you've not got enough work, let me know. Because, you know, if you were sort of walking past someone's desk and saw them twiddling their thumbs, you can't really do that anymore. I think in some ways people are making more of an effort than you would have done otherwise. Um, I I mean, I know I've, sp- I've just emailed a couple of people saying, you know, could, could we have a chat? And every single person, and they've all been fairly senior, have said, yeah, absolutely. And I I don't know if I had been in an office whether I would, whether I would have done that, or maybe it would have been different. I would have like, said hello via a coffee machine and we'd have had a two-minute chat. Vodafone's helped Robert get his home office set up. Uh, they've been absolutely fine. I mean, I know I've got a friend who works for a, a company I shouldn't name, but they have been a lot more stingy upon the things that they can purchase and not and you know it's hard if if somebody's not got the equipment and you know is is doing it in their like bedroom to not have like i don't know a laptop stand it's it's, it's, it's a small thing but it makes a big difference robert is very relieved that his job has gone ahead but things are tough for many of his university friends so one of my friends was due to kind of go to Japan to do this sort of teaching English as a foreign language for two years. And that got cancelled, I think, yesterday or something like that. Or they said, like, if you haven't heard by the 1st of October, it's not going ahead. So, and I think he's yeah, I mean, obviously irritated. And I think he's particularly irritated because he, because of that, rejected like job offers and things like that, which obviously he now kind of regrets. Um, but they're all sort of applying for jobs, but I just think it's not a it's such a rubbish time to be doing it um and all the things you would do in the meantime to kind of you know tide yourself over to make a bit of money you know hospitality working behind a bar things like that they've all just gone so there's a lot of to be honest i think just sitting at home um so yeah i feel i think i've been really really lucky compared to a lot of people computer science graduate elena manale is still at home with her parents in romania Still trying to be safe and uh, home as much as needed and we ca- as much as we can. Um, again, I'm trying to help out with my parents' business and uh, I'm just there whenever I'm going out. Um, I got used to meeting with friends online. I'm really happy with that. We're playing Among Us. We're playing a lot of games online. We tried them all, really, all the multiplayer games or just about everything that can be done online. We've tried it. Um, And yeah, it's just a special year and really got used to it. Eleanor's waiting to start her graduate technology job with the BBC. First of all, it got pushed back for for two, three months. Uh, So start start date is now uh, the 31st of November. Um, And there were a couple of changes then. So there are only three rotations out of four. As I told you, we have uh, rotations of six months. So we have three rotations as um, they will still keep the end date as uh, they first set it. So it won't be postponed or anything. I'm really excited to move in London. Yeah, so I really needed a change, uh, just so long home. Um, I really wanted to start work, get into production and um, just learn a lot. I think it's just about time. Things have worked out well for Eleanor, but many of her friends are still struggling. A lot of my friends lost their job. They didn't even get postponed. They really got cancelled or uh, some of them really got switched into different job titles. 
and I could only be there for them because uh, I, I also know how hard it was to just uh, find something myself. Uh, and I was lucky myself that mine didn't get canceled, but I know that it was a really huge uh, issue for most of the graduates this year. University College London graduate Ben Glass is now on the first year of the Teach First programme, teaching maths at a school in North Liverpool. Yeah, settling in. Um, okay, actually, the maths department I'm teaching maths is probably know already. Um, they've been really friendly, um, just a really welcoming environment to come into. They're very well organised as well, which is like a key thing in my in terms of my well being, not being overloaded with work. Um, so yeah, it's been a it's been a great start. To the year eleven stuff, I'm not sort of the main teacher, so that's that's really fine. The year sevens, eights and tens are the main classroom teachers, nobody else uh, there with me to back me up. So uh, I do find myself watching Hegarty maths videos in the morning as a quick brush up before the lesson. Uh, but I think that's a normal part of the life of a trainee. <laughs> I feel like a complete imposter. Like, look, I've got this badge, it says I'm a teacher and everyone gets out of my way in the corridors and things like that. There's Mr. Glass. I'm like, that's no, that's my dad. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, I do feel I do feel like an adult, um, kind of. It's crazy. Moving but like moving to a new city, um, you kind of drive there by yourself, you move into your home with this like random I don't know, a, a stranger that I never met before, but that's he's really nice. Um, and then you start your job and suddenly you're like, hold on a second. This is really like all that adult life consists of. And like, here I am. <laughs> so that was a weird feeling. For his first few lessons, Ben's had an experienced teacher with him. That's even better for me, behaviour management wise, because they've got a big, scary um, teacher that's already been at the school for years and that they know in some of my lessons. Um, <clears throat> but it's also scary for me because I've got a big, scary teacher that's been in the school for years. So my planning's had to be a bit more rigorous and um i've also had observation notes for like basically every lesson so um you get a lot of feedback <laughs> and it's not just the classroom that's been keeping ben busy uh, i started doing a data science degree uh, alongside like my actual teaching obviously and then i'm also doing the pgde which you have to do as like a teacher a trainee teacher so <clears throat> I've been like doing intros to, to, to statistics on the bus home. I thought it'd just be a good time to start like the next thing, um, especially whilst I'm teaching maths and like I've got 13 really clever maths teachers to help if anything goes wrong. So that's been fun. Um, although, yeah, just like so bu so busy. Long term, I think it's going to be cool with a uh, like COVID cohort um, <laughs> survived that like madness. And yeah, I think everyone will probably end up being better teachers as a result. Chantelle Jeffers Bobo is proud to have graduated from the University of York, but wishes the circumstances could have been different. So I finished my degree in July. I finished quite late because I was ill. Again, I got my 2-1, um, which is what I don't want, when I want to, it's fine. Then we had graduation. Um, a couple of weeks ago, and it was so pointless. Um, it was a Zoom graduation, so you can't even see anyone. Your camera's turned off, and, all that, and it's literally a list of names, but they're not even reading it out. It's just like a it's like a credit at the end of a TV, like a, sh a show. So it's like here are all the people that have you know worked for this thing, and it's like yeah, but you're just saying Bachelor of Science in da da da, and I was just just there going. Are you gonna read my name out because nope and then I just saw my name on the screen and I was like and it glitched so I just almost missed my name. Chantelle has been earning money working as a nanny while she thinks about what to do next. I was gonna take a gap year to fully like gather my thoughts and find out where I want to go. Obviously because of Covid I'm currently meant to be in Asia right now but even if I could travel I probably wouldn't be there. Um, <laughs> just be on the safe side because trying to avoid COVID, not get it. So I've done a massive 
180 and I've changed my mind. Um, so rather than applying for grad schemes this year or do nothing, I've decided to do a GDL but within a master's. So I come up with a law conversion and a master's. So it's a mega degree and I'll probably go cry about it because it'd be really stressful, but I'm actually really looking forward to it. And what does help is that it's compulsory, so I can't not go and I have very shoddy attendance. <laughs> so I am looking forward to it. Um, I'm not looking forward to the massive books I get, but I am looking forward to starting. I have done my three years. It's now time to move on um, and spread my wings. So I'm doing it in London because I can stay at home and bother my parents. <laughs> um, but it's just more ideal for me to do it in London and I don't have to worry about extra costs or anything. And if I do work experiences, it's easier to travel even outside London because London's like quite a big hub. Birmingham engineer Louise McKeever Jones is still waiting to start her graduate job with engineering firm WSP. I got the call from WSP basically being like, we're postponing you till January, um, which was a bit of a blow. Um, but I messaged my friend who's also working for them um, and very awkwardly said, Oh, I've been postponed till January, this sucks. And she was like, Oh, I've been pushed back till April. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, so it's quite grateful that I was only January. Louise is very glad to have a definite job to look forward to. So my job's in Guildford and I'm going to the London because all my friends are in London. Um, so working from home actually saves me a heck of a lot of money on the commute. <laughs> so I think the prospect of working from home in my head isn't that bad. I'm sure in theory it would be really difficult. Um, especially starting out like I know some other people have started their grad schemes online are a bit like because you don't really know anyone to ask questions you don't really have a, like a rapport with them so kind of asking them a silly question can be a lot harder because you've got to physically call them up you can't just you know pretend to get a cup of tea and bump into them. Unfortunately Louise's friends aren't in such a good position. I know some of my friends I think more of the marketing side of thing more of like the humanities kind of grad schemes have had theirs taken away, um, kind of like, you'll have to reapply for next year, which is really bad. Um, I think a lot of people I know have really struggled, really struggled to get them because now it's, I guess, even more competitive because there's less jobs and more people applying to them. Um, so it must be quite, quite tough. Um, I think, yeah, they're all struggling a bit. And I think the issue with doing an integrated master's is you can't really do a panic master's. You're <laughs> kind of like, oh, <laughs> This is me. <laughs> Before she starts work with WSP in January, Louise is determined to keep busy. I basically realised that I I can't really sit still, but it's also, so I've um, signed up to volunteer with Cancer Research and work in one of their shops. Because um, I went in and they said they were really struggling because obviously the majority of the volunteers are kind of pensioners who are now isolating. Because I am living at home there's only so much I'm kind of willing to do because my parents are 60 and from a selfish point of view I know I just if I caught anything and gave it to them it'd be really bad so kind of trying to give back in a safe way is what I was kind of looking for. The continuing coronavirus crisis has forced Liverpool business graduate Felix Kabuti Jr to reconsider his job offer from the FDM group. I had a conversation with my recruiter who was fantastic she she guided me throughout the whole recruitment process and she's the one that made me th the offer um, and she kept me well informed throughout the whole whole situation and um, we had a conversation where I thought I was going to be confirming my start date and then she unfortunately gave me the, the, the bad news that I wouldn't be able to um, start yet and that um, they would like to think that they could get me in um, early 2021 however there's no guarantee and that's the one um, sentence she said to me that kind of stuck with me there's no guarantee so I took a step back and I really really took time to refocus and realign and think about my aspirations and where I wanted to be and it it came to me that perhaps going back into um, full-time education would be the best thing to do because amidst all that uncertainty kind of having the opportunity to um, study and work towards a qualification is is um, something quite certain and something that if I work hard enough is guaranteed at the end. 
So Felix has enrolled for a one-year Masters in Management course back at the University of Liverpool. I mean, I've come to on, on campus today and to say it's strange is an understatement. I mean, to put things into con- context, I'm in a building, um, one of my favourite buildings from last year, which used to be a real social bubble um, in terms of, you see, there's lectures that take place here, there's seminars that take place here, but it's also a place where people come to socialise as well as study. It's that kind of vibrant environment. And I'm sat here at the moment and I've got, I won't be surprised, by the reception staff and the, um, I think that one of the cleaners I, I just saw, I've got the whole building to myself. There's no one else here. Like many new graduates, Felix has found the last few months tough. Um, I've, I've really gone through a whirlwind, a whirlwind of um, emotions. Um, there's been times where I've been quite optimistic and I've, I've tried to um, be the kind of encouraging voice for myself, for my friends, for my family. But then there's also been times where I've been quite down myself and I've not been able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I, feel, I feel like it does um, fluctuate, I'll be very, very honest. Um, some days are better than others, but all you can do is kind of keep yourself safe and just work on yourself and work on where you would like to be. Um, like I said earlier, things at the moment are delayed, not denied. It's important to remember that. So I'm just going to keep persisting, keep persevering, and remain focused and hopefully um, the rewards do come.